Hey there, my Transformers. Welcome to our Facebook Live Thursday, and this is the uh, Christmas Eve edition. <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you as we uh, head into uh, the holidays that are upon us. And um, something I've been sharing about a lot lately is how boundaries can really support us in the holidays, how we can have healthy boundaries during the holidays. And, you know, many of us have this misconception about boundaries. I find that every time I teach, every time I coach, that there is this um, idea that boundaries actually create a wedge, that boundaries drive us apart, that boundaries create conflict and chaos in our relationships. And I'm here to share with you that the very opposite is true. Boundaries actually help us build intimacy. Boundaries support us in being able to see our differences as opportunities for growth. And boundaries really support us in moving into true freedom. So, you know, we, we may have this idea that boundaries are restrictive or confining or depriving and i really want to encourage you to start looking at boundaries as being expansive boundaries are the way that we carefully choose and consciously curate the content of our own life so especially during the holidays instead of simply keeping the peace and building resentment Boundaries can be a powerful vehicle for you to create more connection with the people you love. So one other thing I want to share, because I'm super excited about it before I even dive further into this idea of how boundaries create more connection, is that look what I got. I got the paperback of my book. I'm so excited. I just got it in the mail. I just got this advanced copy. It is releasing on January 12th, but you can pre-order your copy of the paperback right here. And I'm actually going to pop into the comments. Uh, there we go. I'm going to pop it into the comments so that you can grab it if you, if you want to. Uh, the paperback, like I said, is available for pre-order and it's coming out on January 12th. And when you pre-order the book, and truth be told, whether you pre-order the paperback or the hardcover or the ebook or the audiobook, and it's me reading, uh, whether you order the book in any of its forms, I'm going to send you a free gift, which is uh, the replay video of my book launch event that I held in January just about a year ago, uh, back in New York City with my dear friend Gabby Bernstein. We did a book launch event for Setting Boundaries Will Set You Free and we recorded it. And I'm making the video replay available to you as my gift to you. And the awesome thing is that when you order the book, even if you have to wait for the book to arrive, you are going to be able to have immediate instant access to this video of me and Gabby sharing about our own personal experiences about boundaries, doing Q&A with the audience, and uh, I hope that you will take advantage of this gift. So again, you can just uh, go to nancylevin.com slash new book, and all the info is there about how to get that gift. So as we are exploring the ways that boundaries can create connection, there's a couple things I want to share with you. If you're someone who identifies as a people pleaser, a peacekeeper, a conflict avoider, someone who really uh, has lived your life not rocking the boat, I, I want to let you know that I, I get it. <laughs> I've been where you are. And I'm someone who used to think that the goal of relating, the goal of any relationship, not just intimate partnership, but even the goal of relating with my family, my friends, anybody, but the goal of relating is harmony at all cost. And here's what happens. When we think that's the goal of relating, harmony at all cost, it comes at a really high cost. And it comes at a high cost to us. So I want to support you in truth telling. I want to support you in really understanding that, you know, most of us have this idea that 
in order to be loved and accepted, we have to hide some part of ourselves, some aspect of ourselves, some quality that we possess. And the truth of the matter is that in the next breath, we're also wishing and wanting and hoping that we could be loved for the truth of who we are. I got this one crazy hair on my cheek. <laughs> that we could be loved for the truth of who we are. And so in order to be loved for the truth of who we are, we need to be willing to reveal the truth of who we are. And so this then dives into the conversation of you know, do you find yourself in your own mind in this loop of what do I need to do or say to make everything be okay? If you're there, if you're stuck in that loop of what do I need to do or say to make everything be okay, you are anywhere but the present moment. You are anything but authentic. You are controlling. You are manipulating. You are uh, managing the perception of others. And listen, I did this for decades of my life. I really wanted to control the perception that others had of me. I wanted to manage their perception. So I was very meticulous in giving them a very specific lens to see me through. So notice, what are the roles? What are the personas? What are the images that you are putting forth into the world so that you can be seen in a certain way, even if it's not true? And then start seeing what happens, how the, your connections have more traction to deepen if you begin revealing what's true. Instead of acquiescing, instead of compromising, instead of sacrificing, instead of saying yes when you really want to say no, instead of letting all that resentment build, what if you simply tell the truth? And here's the deal someone else's response to your truth is not your responsibility to manage. It's not your responsibility to manage someone else's response to your truth. And this is a really key and critical element of setting boundaries. We have to know what's true for us. We need to start locating our own needs, our own wants, opening up to desire, opening up to receiving, opening up to having, and allowing, allowing what's true for us to be simply that, what is true. So over the next few weeks, we are going to be diving deeply into boundaries. Next week, on New Year's Eve, essentially, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live all about how to set boundaries instead of resolutions. So this is about really sticking to your own non-negotiables, sticking to your own rituals, your own, your own routines, sticking to what makes you inhabit your own life fully instead of living someone else's life. And then in the coming weeks, once we get into January, I'm super excited to let you know that I am I am going to be sharing with you a free coaching experience called the Transformation Equation Method. And it's going to be a seven day free coaching experience to support you in really discovering and honoring and following your own true north. So be on the lookout for that come January. But next week, like I said, Join me so that we can really look at how to set boundaries instead of resolutions. Because we all know what happens when we set resolutions, right? <laughs> but the difference is with boundaries, we're really coming from a very self-honoring place that's self-loving. We're not using anything to beat ourselves up. We're not using anything to, uh, to let ourselves off the hook. We are building a practice so that we know we can keep a promise to ourselves. And this all comes from being willing to start putting yourself first, putting yourself in center stage of your own life. And you know, I talk about this a lot and I'll keep talking about it because I feel so passionately about our need to give ourselves permission to consider ourselves and our own needs 
at least as much as we're considering the needs of everyone else. See if you can just take that one piece into your holidays this year. Be willing to consider yourself and your own needs at least as much as you're considering everyone else. And then consider your needs even more, even more than you're considering the needs of others. And then consider yourself first before considering the needs of others. And if you've been with me a while, you know that anyone out there who wants to raise your hand and say, but Nancy, isn't that selfish? I'm going to say yes. And it's high time that you put yourself at the top of your list, that you put yourself at the head of your table. It's high time that you consider your own needs instead of sublimating and burying all of them. So I'm not in any way saying disregard everyone else. I'm simply saying give yourself the same consideration you're giving everyone else and see what begins to shift in your life. See if that resentment dissipates. Because I'll tell you right now, resentment rising is the number one telltale sign that a boundary needs to be put into place. So if you are someone who notices that the hair on the back of your neck is standing up at even the idea of setting boundaries, I've got the book for you. <laughs> setting boundaries will set you free. Like I said, it's available in paperback now. It's accessible in all forms. And if you order it in any of its, of its forms, uh, I'm going to send you the free gift of my book launch event that I did in New York with Gabby Bernstein. So I am on my soapbox about boundaries, about selfishness, about really being able to honor what's true for you and honor your own needs. Because if you're not willing to honor your own needs, why on earth would you anticipate or expect that anyone else would do that for you? So a couple things. As we move through the holidays, as we might sort of brush up against each other, whether it's physically or virtually, it's always an invitation to look at what can I do to take care of myself. So I want you to remember one of the core pillars of boundary setting is that we have this idea that other people cross our boundaries. But I'm here to tell you that if your boundaries are being crossed, you are the one crossing them. And just breathe that in if that feels new for you or if that feels uh, contradictory to what you believe. If your boundaries are being crossed, you're the one crossing them. And then here's where it gets great. It's not anyone else's job to uphold your boundaries. It's up to you. And what this does is it immediately moves you out of victim and blame into responsibility and empowerment so you can make the shifts in your own life that you need. So as we move into these final days of the year, really look at what you're willing to leave behind. Look at what you're willing to bring in. Look at the ways that being honest with the people you love is the way that you're giving them a page of your operating manual. You're giving them a piece of your puzzle. So it's not about creating conflict. It's not about creating conflict, uh, uh, chaos. It's not about avoiding conflict. It's simply about being true. And that's where real intimacy and connection is going to happen. Okay, so thanks for spending some time with me today. Like I said, I'll be back here again uh, next Thursday for the New Year's Eve edition. And we will be talking about setting boundaries instead of resolutions. And then I've got lots of goodies coming for you in the new year in January. So stay tuned. Lots of love.